Hi everyone, I'm James Westgate. I'm the editor of the Veterinary Business Journal. Um, we're here today to talk about the new Institute of Leadership and Management qualifications uh, launched by SPIVS. I'm Pete Stevens. I actually run an ILM centre and was called in by SPIVS to develop this particular programme. I'm Ryan Davis. Uh, I'm a SPIVS board member and I'm the, the lead on the ILM qualification. Um, I'm Leanne Brown, I'm a SPIVS board member, um, I also own and run a practice in North Yorkshire and I'm very interested in this qualification for my team. So why have these qualifications been developed? Well often in veterinary practice we promote from within and it's a, it's a really tough transition when you are a nurse and you become head nurse or when you're a vet and you become senior vet or clinical director. It's hard to get out of practice to do a formal qualification and it's a huge steep learning curve. So the ILM course is completely designed for our needs in clinical practice to make it an achievable qualification, give you the skills you need in a way that can be easily done. The key for us really was to make it one accessible and two that it was achievable in practice but but relatable to practice. There's ILM qualifications out there that are just very generic. Could you just explain level three then level five and the differences between the two formulas? So level three is pitched at the operational manager. Mm -hmm. So that's the person that has to make it happen. Mm -hmm. The level five is for the strategic thinkers within the organization and they will develop the strategy and the strategic objectives for any year and then pass them over to, if you like, the practice manager to make sure it happens. Mm -hmm. So there's two different levels. Mm -hmm. One is strategic, thinking about the organisation and where the organisation is going. The second one is for the operations to make sure that they achieve the objectives on time to the quality mm -hmm. and to the cost. It's not always a strong suit for vets, for VNs or for no. anyone in this profession to be Nobody's. a business leader. Nobody's taught leadership at vet school or vet nursing school. Practice managers are often recruited from other professions, so um, and no one's born knowing how to do it. So you do need to be taught new skills. Mm. Mm. Um, but if it's on a formal qualification, then you 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 are learning, you're completing exercises, and you and you're gaining the qualification rather than just learning it as you go along, as as some of us have had to. Yeah, and I think there's a lot of people that identify they just want to be better at what they do. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's not necessarily that they're doing anything wrong or want to change anything they do but bringing fresh ideas just gives them the motivation to do new things and change the direction of the practice so right. offers a, a level of career development yeah. yeah we also have got a workbook for the learners line mm -hmm. manager to explain how to support the learner through the program mm -hmm. so the line manager is fully involved in the program itself and can support the learner to make it easier for the learner. Yeah, each of the learners is given a one-to-one -one coach mm -hmm. to help them coach them through the programme and so that they can ring them or email them at any time and they don't understand a question or if they get stuck or they've got a business problem or issue, yeah. they've got that individual outside the practice. There's yeah, a real yeah. need for it. Um, there's nothing worse than feeling out of your depth, especially when you've been asked to step up and you don't want to let anyone down but you don't ha necessarily have the guidance in your, in, your, in your practice to help you with these new skills. There is a, there's a massive gap for this, there's a need for it. I feel I should point out for the, uh, the people who are watching rather than just listening, um, Ryan has been replaced uh, <laughs> by the lovely Nicola Watson, the Chief Executive of SPIVS. Hello. <laughs> anyway, Hello. how much are these um, qualifications going to cost? Who can apply? It's not just SPIVS members, is it? It's no, everybody. It's not. I mean, we've done a SPIVS member rate which is heavily subsidised for our members at £580 for the qualification. Um, if you wanted to access the qualification and don't feel that you want to be a SPIVS member, you can pay £725 for the Level 3 course. Um, it's still cheaper than it is if you went to go and buy something that's not bespoke. By launching the Level 3 first is that if um, owners of the practice can see their staff taking part in the Level 3 and the value that it's adding to the practice and creating more efficiencies, what we would like then is that, that value to be absorbed by the practice owner that they may want to take on the Level 5 themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, which is again with like where Leanne mm -hmm. is on our board, running her own practice and then being in a position where the staff that she employs to take on a level three may want to us, like Leanne or the colleagues in similar roles, take on that level five. So it actually enhances your own strategic thinking to be able to develop your practice further. 
but everyone wants to take the next step in their career. So a lot of us take that step quite blindly, um, without any backup, without any formal training. This is this fills that gap. Anybody, whatever your role title is, that needs support in those early stages of leadership and management, this level three course would support. And again, that goes from a vet, from the reception to mayor took a promotion. It's irrelevant, it's about whether or not you need the support at that level. And I think the level five qualification is very much focused on people that have been in leadership roles for a period of time. Mm -hmm. And they actually need to enhance their own growth as well to be able to support their teams. So we can all keep being promoted, but to go from experienced management work to strategic understanding is quite a jump. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when you've actually, whether you're in a big practice or a small one, it's all very formal talk, but it's the same thing. You're there to make a practice more efficient. Mm -hmm. And to make a practice more efficient, you need to understand how to run it properly. So the message is out there. Get in touch with you guys. Get online, SPIVS website. Yep. Go straight onto the website. You can see the access to the ILM qualification. You can book it through SPIVS. It gives you a breakdown of the course. Follow SPIVS on social media and you'll be able to see the updates.